Hey right, guys, it's another beautiful day once again, and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today we are going to make an update about what we are doing here. By the way, it's so sad that a typhoon came to our country, the Philippines, and it hit our city, city of Zamboanga, and we have suffered massive flooding. And one of our tanks in front of this house had been destroyed because of the volume of water our fish have escaped and we had a lot of problem about catching all these fish they are all here and they are now ready to be transported to the pet store well I have decided to just sell this to our pet store because we are not ready to accommodate this fish in this tanks yet so I've decided to, to just bring this and sell this one to our pets. By the way, if you will look at down here, you will see this tank that are already filled with water. You will also see that I already have connected a tube or a PVC pipe from this tank to here. So you will note that I have here three PVC pipes and all these three pipes are connected in this big tank that is intended for our filter bucket so the mechanics is this one we have to put this tube like that and then we will cut this one up to this level and we will fill this with stones so from there the water will flow down and then rise up passing through the media the stones that we are going to put right here and the water will be filtered already so that's the system and we will make an update about how we gonna make a matting under the gravel because i'm planning to use a pvc pipe also to have this free flow of water downwards and this is beautiful to see now you will see this one and all this two are the exit point of the water from here so i will use a submersible pump and the submersible pump will be placed on the third tank and the flooring of these three tanks are designed to incline from there to here so meaning that the water will naturally flow here goes up there and go back here so that's gonna be our future plans and I hope we can finish that in the next couple of days. Well, many said, Dexter, how much did you spend? Well, I already ran short of the budget. I thought that I would just spend around 20000 but our expenses have doubled. But anyway, it's alright because we're doing business also and we're also filming this for you guys to be updated of what we are actually doing for our fish. My plans also is to fix this big tank over there. Come on. So you will see that this will be converted to a filter tank or filter bucket. And you will see also that I have here this small concrete tank. My plan is that we will bring up the water from here course we will use a tube and then the water will flow down under the, the gravel that I am going to to put in this tank and will rise up so we will use this as an exit point where the water will flow down and go here 
So this is gonna be a some sort of a waterfalls that we can see in the future. So we will fill this also with stones, the garden stones, and we will make a design that this will look like a, a mini falls or a fountain. And at the side of this will be the plants. We are going to make a design landscape of this portion. And we will put a cover in net over here. And that's going to be an exciting event for us to see. Well, I'm so excited because our Japanese koi, breeder koi, will really have now a bigger space where they can swim. So these are the fish that have escaped from that pan and I just decided to just sell this one now. This is also a tip that we can give to our co-hobbyists. If you are maintaining several tanks, it's not good to just mix your fish from this tank to another tank. It will really cause disease. It will really cause the, the death of some of the fish. So that's why my principle is since we don't have a ready tank yet for this fish. I have decided to just sell this one now to our pet store where the kids can go and buy this at a very low price. We are packing this one and we are making some sort of segregation. We are segregating the koi from the mollies. You look at this koi. This is very nice. Barb. This is a rose barb. A breeder barb. Guys, I have spotted a big koi. You look at this one. Compared to the other kois that are in this tank. This is a big koi compared to the other siblings and this is a result of cannibalism. I believe that this has become the predator to the smaller fish. It grows so big that it is capable of eating the other smaller fish. There are really koi that will become monster to their siblings. So we'll throw this one there. I believe that there are really koi that have good metabolism in their bodies. They will grow, they will eat, they can easily digest their food and they will grow fast. And when they get big, they will eat now the smaller ones. And the more that they will grow faster than the other. You are a breeder. I know that you have experienced what I have experienced also. That is why we have to check our tank from time to time to get this bigger fish from the tank. Because this is going to be a problem. They will eat the smaller ones. So last night, a heavy downpour filled these tanks and our fish scampered to different places and we have just reduced the water using the submersible pump and all the fish had been collected already and it's there. You see that some of the mollies have given birth. We're collecting the babies every day. That is why we cannot see any more babies that are hiding in these plants. We have separate tank for the babies. And this is how to maximize our breeding or production of fish. We have to make a separate tank for the babies. Some others will just leave the babies swimming together with the parents. And it's good. But for us to really maximize the production, we really have to separate the babies because some other predators, if they will go hungry, will be tempted really to eat the babies. I would like to thank you all for always making comments and 
interacting with each other. Many have asked questions and somebody answered the questions. I am so glad that our channel, Dexter's World, have become a, an avenue for the first hobbyists to exchange ideas, ask some questions, and many persons are kind enough also to answer the queries of the other so there is an interaction there is a sharing of ideas and that's what i am very happy about so thank you for watching i hope you will continue to like and share our videos we are on the road to 500,000 subscribers well that's half a million and that's a milestone for me and thank you for your support please continue to like and share if you are new please subscribe hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our future videos only here at Dexter's World.